Hi everybody, Flash Crow here from Old Man Gaming Down Under. Welcome to my playthrough of Dawn of Man. First episode, of course. Let's do a new game. I did the tutorial about a week ago, so I've probably forgotten most of it. <laughs> uh, we're going to do free play. And we're going to start off on an easy mode. Continental Dawn. So let's select that. And the game's really about, well, as it says here, grow and evolve your settlement from the Paleolithic, <laughs> easy for me to say, uh, to the Iron Age. So you've got different starting locations. Um, and I believe we can change the name. So I'm going to call it uh, Crowclaw. Sounds a bit cavemanish. <laughs> uh, they're all, I know water's important and fish are as well. I presume you can catch fish in the lake. But let's go for a forest river. There's different options. It wants to start me in River Fork, but I reckon we'll go here. Uh, forest river normal game mode that looks like we'll leave that as it is settled start with a few structures and resources or nomad start with no structures but extra resources so you can choose your own location to settle hmm let's go with that one right well here we are Just uh, take me a bit of time to get used to the tools. Now, one of the cool things about this is you can click on a person, brings up their details, and then you can click the camera and it will focus the camera on them and follow them around the place. So, he's got a good beard. <laughs> oh, and it looks like there's a few animals around. So escape will take you away from that. I don't think this is going to be too much of a tutorial for you guys. Um, there is a tutorial in the game, like I said, that I've already done. But we need to uh, get some stuff ready. So they've got spears, so let's try a bit of hunting. Um, hunt. Actually, no, before I do that, let me escape that. You've got a special view if you hit tab. And you can tell uh, which are the dangerous animals. Green is okay, but red is bad. <laughs> and uh, maybe we should go for this one over here. Oh. Wherever he's gone, oh, he's hiding. A reindeer. It's got big antlers. So we'll get it, get them to hunt that. Usually what they'll do is send out, oh no, you don't want to. <laughs> Nobody's going to do it. Nobody's going to hunt that. Okay. Off to a good start. Come on, look. You've got a spear, mate. No. Okay, clearly they don't want to hunt at the moment. The other thing that tab view does, I think, it shows you where... Um, can I use the WISD? Yes, I can. Um, shows you where things like sticks are, and I believe trees that you can get stuff off of a service tree and barley and that type of stuff which grows in the wild but what I'm really looking for is some stones but I don't think it shows stones no it doesn't from that view so let's see if they will gather the stones 
These people aren't doing anything. Oh, maybe because I haven't set a place to settle. In all honesty, this place here looks pretty good. So we might as well maybe build something. There's also a menu up over here, which you probably can't see because it's in the way of me, but I can bring up that over on the other side here by cl clicking the plus, which is that one. So that's all right. So I've just duplicated what's over the other side. And then we can also do um, Uh, speed will probably come in handy because it's quite a slow paced game if you leave it just normal right so let's build um, resident a tent now I think the tents fit three people in each so we've got a few That we'll need but I don't believe we've got enough um, stuff to build all of them so let me get out of that storage a wood pile we'll put over here maybe and a rock pile over here don't know if I'm gonna worry about a storage tent just yet I'd rather them get on to doing a bit of um, building of the residences first you can see up here it's spring it goes through pretty quick but it's also one of those games um, where it's pretty easy to overwork uh, no storage slots left most storage here yeah, decay yeah okay reindeer has escaped well I'm not surprised <laughs> considering nobody wanted to go for it where's home no there so is anybody getting the stones how about sticks um place of work area gather sticks now we can make that larger or smaller um, sticks here so yeah i know there's no storage slots left you don't have to tell me Alrighty. So what we got? Started off with meat, some flint, one stone, dry skins, spears, knives, fishing tools. So let's see if we can do some fishing. Now the fishing areas, these the river is broken into sections and you get mud or fish from them and the um, how can I put it the quantities of available fish or mud isn't isn't infinite um, so if I click on there and then if I go here there's the fish symbol which is full but over time that will go down and so you have to move the fishing spot to another part of the river and the same with the mud, I believe. Although I haven't, didn't do that in the tutorial. Looks like he's, this guy here has got a rock. Let's have a look at him. Yeah. <laughs> you could have grabbed a smaller one, mate. You didn't have to get it that big. And that's roughly what speed they work, walk at. I'll keep it pretty slow to start with. And then I'll speed it up a bit later. When we're actually doing, waiting for stuff to happen. I just don't want to miss out on anything obvious at the beginning. 
Oh, I see. There's a little bit of a forward here as well. Another reindeer. No, it's a muf mouflon. Looks like a goat. You can also... Um, it's a technology tree. Uh, which I think... No. No. Where's technology? No. Hmm. That's the workload chart. I thought it was in here. But it's not. Is it here? Workload is balanced. That's all right. Knowledge. Is that it? Yeah. So you, you've got to get so many uh, knowledge points by achieving different things and then you can actually upgrade depending on what you which path you want to take but you can you've got dog domestication and then that goes on eventually to goats and sheep pigs and cattle they've got their religious type of is it there um no here uh, no no, I think it is there. They like totems and things anyway. Anyway, there's quite a bit to it. So. He's fishing. So, why aren't they building? What does it need? One stick. Come on. Oh, they're getting sticks. <laughs> First animal hunted, Mouflon, knowledge plus one. Okay, so we got one knowledge point because he hunted the uh, Mouflon. I could have clicked on that and it would have taken me to the event, but I forgot. <laughs> so as soon as we can get some huts together, but I don't understand why they're taking so long. I suppose they had plenty of time on their hands. One stick. Where's that person gone? <laughs> They've gone. <laughs> Our meat is still seven. Ah, oh, um... Maybe we need to also build production, a fireplace, but that needs two, two stones, or is that flint? No, two stones. Then we've got a crafting hut and a skin dryer, but we're really taking a while to get some sticks. And that's on continuous. Need to find more sticks somewhere. This is ridiculous. Sticks. Maybe this location wasn't quite so good. Yeah. Hmm. Um, maybe if I do a stick gathering area, another one. There's some more over here, quite a few actually. Oh, that's better. And let's hunt you, mate. Mega look. Oh, hang on. Ooh, no, wait a minute. Um, no, cancel. 
that rhinoceros? A woolly rhino. Yeah, we won't be uh we won't be doing you mate. Oh, we got one up. Good. Right, build another one. Um, rotate. Maybe that way. Uh, and they don't talk. They just sort of make funny sounds. Okay, let's just speed it up a little bit. Four times. It's very easy to uh, die in this game, apparently. Like if you forget about food or you, they get cold or whatever, it can be quite bad. So we've got food, that's okay. It's spring, so that's also good. Gives us a bit of time before winter. I like the animals in it. Is that a unicorn? <laughs> okay, so we've got two. So we're up to three knowledge points. I think, I think knowledge points we need five. So, seven people, if it's three in each. Yeah, so it's three. So, we really need three location, three huts, sorry, or tents. So, we'll build another one after this. But we've got no sticks by the look of it. Oh no, he's got more there now. Two. And how much do we need? Four. Okay. Hmm. That way. I want to try and get them all sort of more or less together in a Bit of a circle. Once we get this, we'll get the resource storage. Resource storage? <laughs> I suppose it is. What is it? It's a storage tent. Now, we should have some bones. We've got a bone. So I reckon we can also build a skull pole. Uh, no, we don't have the whatever that. It's a pity. Like it's got the pictures of them there, but it's hard to you can't you know like move over to see what it is. I mean the stick and the bone is obvious, but I'm not sure what the greeny one is. I mean, that's a raw skin. So I think we need like a drying rack or something. So let's just have a look. Um, production, skin dryer, everything needs sticks. Um, put it there next to the, well, I suppose it would make sense to put it next to the stick pile since it's got to be made from sticks right so we've got the three hearts we've got that get the skin dryer happening first structure your skin is dry one so we're up to four uh, yes. 
So let's try the storage tent and we'll put that uh, facing there. Bearing in mind all these structures as you pass through time will probably upgrade. Oh, I think you should be hunted. Ibex. Wow. They got that quick. Right, let's slow the time down. Because we've got five knowledge points. So, bone tools. Where's that advanced to? Bone polishing. Let's just have bone knives. Sickles. Copper smelting, hmm. Pottery, sling. Well, that give us archery, which is much better, and eventually fortifications. The swords and copper archery and reinforced fortifications. Food drying, which is good. Tanning. I suppose, yeah, that's for making outfits. Mm. Ah, you need that for a totem. No, it was just a skull stick we had. Let's go for this one. Allows you to make slings, which are basic hunting tools, yes. Knowledge. You can earn knowledge points again by achieving various goals, reaching larger populations, building different types of structures, hunting different types of animals, acquiring various resources, killing raiders, unlocking milestones and surviving more years. Yep, yeah, okay, we knew that. Um, which reminds me, there's something that you can click on What's the workload? So the only active tasks are gathering sticks. The storage tent is pending. Do we need more stones? No, not tree. No, we need skin. No. We've got four of the raw skins, so have they put them on the drying rack? Uh, we've only got one drying rack. Let's build another drying rack. Um, sorry if I'm talking a lot, but <laughs> I suppose that's what I'm here for. <laughs> and it saves me talking to myself. Are they rocks. You have to actually select somebody to... Can you... Do kids work? Can you collect them? No. Um, we're down to two meat. How's our fishing going? Not too good. So we'll click on that fishing thing and edit it, move it over here. So we need to do some more hunting. Alrighty. No. <laughs> Moving up this way. The area of the map is quite large too. I won't go too far because I'm likely to get lost. <laughs> he said getting lost <laughs> no let's get this guy I'm sure there's a lot more we could do did be be but there be doing oak tree birch a service tree let's get somebody to collect fruit off that See how easy the workload is 133 now. 
bit of a bit of a problem. I think it's going to be a pretty good game. It's interesting. Let's follow this person. Kerry. Hello, Kerry. You adult woman, you. Oh, very good. <laughs> oh, she's come out. What's she doing? Ah, uh, hanging up another skin. That's good for us. Kalus. Yes. Look, here's Berry Man. They're bloody big berries. Oh. Nothing like a bit of clipping. Oh. <laughs> That's a pretty thick spear he's got. It's like a giant pencil. <laughs> okay. Next on the agenda. I prefer to look at it from this way so that I've got the creek here. Right, so we've got those drying. I don't know how long they take. Got seven outfits. We don't have any fishing. We've got just that one wooden harpoon. Ah, oh, a crafter. We need a crafter, don't we? Sorry, just going to look at him. That's a rock. Oh my god, what was that? Oh dear. Yeah, that's not good news. Um No. Don't kill him. Ooh, cave hyena. Is he all right? No. He's a little bit damaged. Boy. Oh, well, we've got another, <laughs> another point for that. <laughs> Dangerous place to be living, I think. What we've got, um, yes, yes. Why isn't it showing, they keep on putting things up there, but. There's nothing uh, coming back off. Ah, oh, the kids in this game work. Very fair. Hmm. <laughs> no, I can't click on it. The Megalosaurus. Old female. Kill it! 10 meat acquired. Gain one knowledge. Very good. I think I've got it back on slow speed, haven't I? Sorry, I'm enjoying the uh, interesting graphics, really. They're obviously going off to hunt that thing. Let's follow them. Oh my god, don't... Jeez. 
Watch out for the rhinos, guys. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> oh. Yep, I'd be walking away from there as well, with that rhino around. Okay, stop following. One, we've got one dry skin. We need one more. That's it. The storage tent will be built. Ten food, three fish, raw fish. Ah, oh, did I build a fireplace? I thought I did, or did I need... Let me just go back normal speed. Um, I thought I had built a fireplace, but obviously I didn't. Production. Why didn't I? Because we need sticks. Uh, put the fireplace there. Well, I reckon what we might do, I think it's probably been a little while. Um, hard to tell, really. I should have put a timer on. I forgot. i tell you what, we'll do... A fireplace and we'll build a skull pole because apparently that makes them you know they can feel better about themselves so I'm gonna put the skull skull the skull skull pole facing um, towards their tents and they can just come out here and worship it Once that's completed, I'll um, focus the camera on it and maybe call it a video at that stage. I'm pretty sure we've got first structure half, knowledge plus one. Oh, we, wow. Um, I think what do we need? I don't understand why uh, these are obviously a lot more points needed. I mean, that one's 15. But that doesn't even lead in from anywhere, so it only starts there. I think you start getting attacked once you get to here. So, or it used to be. I haven't read up about it recently. Um, so I think we're pretty safe in this. Well, we're certainly safe here. But I think we're still fairly safe in that area. Era, era I should say. I'm keen to get some dogs as well, though. I'm going to do the fish. Because that gets us to farming as well. Yeah. We'll do that. Food drying unlocked. Ah, we've got that there. Okay, well let's video or go to the go to the video. <laughs> yes. Where'd they get those skulls from though? I'm not sure, but impressive looking, very impressive, <laughs> mm, actually maybe, let me go back to that, 
I could do a screenshot, couldn't I? Although I don't know, <laughs> I don't know what the is F12 the sc screenshot will steam no matter what. I don't know. Let's see. Yes, of course it is. <laughs> I may use that, I may not. Okay, well, I'm going to pause it there. And I think quite happily call that an end to the video. And we'll continue on from there in the next one. <laughs> Thanks a lot for watching. Let me know in the comments if you think it's uh, worthwhile going on with. I think probably for now it is at least anyway. So um, we'll see you next time.